You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available in the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, stocktwits.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the optionsinsider.com. The Options Insider Radio Network is sponsored by Fidelity Investments. Fidelity's Option Trade Builder tool can help you confidently build an options trade in three simple steps. Just choose a strategy, select a contract, and then review the benefits and risks of the trade. Learn more about Option Trade Builder at fidelity.com backslash options. Options trading entails significant risk and is not appropriate for all investors. Certain complex option strategies carry additional risk. Before trading options, contact Fidelity Investments by calling 800-544-5115 to receive a copy of the characteristics and risks of standardized options. Fidelity Brokerage Services, LLC, member NYSC SIPC. Good morning. Today is Monday, September 17th, 2018. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Our first story today is from investing.com. It's the top five things to know in the market on Monday. First thing to know is Trump readies a new $200 billion in tariffs in the China trade war. As a new week kicks into action, the U.S.-China trade spat will likely remain a key driver of sentiment. U.S. President Donald Trump is likely to announce new tariffs on about $200 billion uh, on Chinese imports as early as today, according to a senior administration official. The tariff will probably be about 10%, the Wall Street Journal reported, far below the 25% the administration said it was considering for this possible round of tariffs. The Wall Street Journal later reported that China may decline to participate in proposed trade talks with the U.S. later this month if the Trump administration moves forward with additional tariffs on imported Chinese goods as Beijing won't negotiate under threat. Officials are also considering retaliation steps, the report says. Second thing to know is global stocks are not lower. Global stock markets were lower as investors took fright at news Washington was set to announce a new round of tariffs on Chinese goods. Third thing to know, FedEx and Oracle report earnings. There's a late quarter lull in earnings reports, but results are still expected from a pair of notable companies today. FedEx is slated to report fiscal first quarter results after U.S. markets close. The shipping giant is expected to report earnings of $3.83 per share and revenue of $16.88 billion, according to estimates. Oracle is scheduled to report fiscal first quarter numbers after Monday's closing bell, Uh, Analysts on Wall Street expect earnings of $0.68 on revenue of uh, $9.25 billion. A fourth thing to note today is the dollar slides to a six-week low. From equities, uh, away from equities, the U.S. dollar edged lower against its major rivals to start the week as investors sold the greenback amid renewed fears over escalating trade war between the two largest economies in the world. The U.S. dollar index was down 0.15% at 9435, the lowest level since the end of July. And the fifth thing to note today is Brexit talks are set to pick up pace. The euro and the British pound enjoyed positive starts to the week as markets cheered encouragingly Uh, encouraging developments on terms for Britain's exit from the European Union. The euro tipped up 0.2% to 1.1650 against the dollar, not far from a three-week top 
of 1.1721 said on Friday. Our second story today is from investing.com. Bitcoin inches down and Coinbase expands its New York office. Cryptocurrencies were flat on Monday, with Bitcoin maintaining a four-day range of $6,450. Bitcoin inched down 0.7% to 6470.70 on the Bitfinex exchange as of 8.38 a.m. Eastern. Cryptocurrencies overall, were, cryptocurrencies overall were slightly higher, with the coin market cap total market capitalization at $201 billion at the time of writing, compared to the $199 billion on Friday. Ethereum, or Ether, the second biggest alternative currency by market cap, fell 0.72% to $218.30. XRP, the third largest virtual currency, was down 0.09% to uh, 27.971 cents, and Litecoin was at $55.93. and 93.4 cents, that's down 1.8%. Our third story today comes by way of marketwatch.com. Manufacturers grow at slower but still rapid pace in September. Fed's Empire survey shows. Factories in the New York region churned out goods at a slower but still flourishing pace in September a survey of executives showed. The Empire State Manufacturing Index fell 19 points in September from 25.6 in August. That was a 10-month high. Economists had forecast the index to come in at 23, according to a survey by Econoday. The index for new orders slipped 0.6 points to 16.5, and the shipments index dropped 11.4 points to 14.3. A measure of what it costs to buy raw and partly finished goods inched up to 46.3 from 45.2, the New York Fed said. That reflects upward pressure on a variety of materials firms need to produce their goods. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use for today, Monday, September 17th, 2018, your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Trade smart and have a great week. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider or via questions at the options insider.com. 